I am recording this video on June 23rd, 2021. And today is a day of celebration because this morning I passed the Certified Healthcare Facility Manager exam, the CHFM, and it feels, it feels incredible. I am relieved. I'm grateful, I'm appreciative, I'm brain dead. <laughs> I, I feel all of these things, especially especially gratitude. I mean, relief is a big one, but especially gratitude uh, because I feel like I was just given the time I needed and the resources I needed to really prepare for this exam. All the experience, the studying, the resources, all of it came together for this one moment and it feels awesome. And I wanted to share it with you, but I also wanted to take just a couple of minutes to talk about my experience in case any of you are planning on taking the CHFM exam. Just a little bit about my experience. You already have a really good resource from Joshua Brackett back in 2018. He passed the CHFM exam and put together a great article about all the resources he used to study and he ranked each one. So check that out. It's an awesome resource and I don't wanna recreate it. Instead, I just want to talk a little bit about my experience, especially now that I've uh, I passed the CHC back in March and I've got the CHFM to compare to it. Um, first of all, first of all, my results were very different from the CHC than the CHFM. Uh, in the CHC, if you remember, I came in, in the, with the practice exam with my finance score being the highest, and that ended up being my lowest score on the CHC and that kind of blew me away. Uh, my PDNC and compliance were pretty strong. This time on the CHFM, my finance was strong again, thank goodness, uh, and my compliance is my, my second um, highest area of strength. But I, um, I would say I bombed the PDNC portion, but I did not do as well as I, I had intended or hoped to do, <laughs> uh, which is pretty different than with the CHC. Um, and that just goes to show you that um, it's, it's such a broad, spectrum of topics and you can't ever get too comfortable in one position and there's always room for improvement regardless of how you do in the practice. The other takeaway that I had is about a third through the exam I started to panic but just like I did in the CHC both times both times I was like oh no I'm totally going to fail this test. Uh, both times I just had like this overwhelming sense of panic because both times there were these questions that I was just not prepared for. And I did take about three weeks to study for each and I felt good going into it. And I really, I was just totally caught off guard by some of these questions. And I started to get like this deep pit in my stomach, like, oh no, like what if the whole thing is like this? It got better, it got better. The other thing I noticed is that I took the self uh, assessment exam. That's how I kicked off both of my study sessions. And I took the uh, prep courses that ASHI offers. Okay, um, highly recommend doing both of those things. What I discovered though, is that um, maybe in my own knowledge, I kind of knew about 10 to 20% of the content just through experience. And then I would say maybe 30 to 40% was reminded of or learned through my study efforts, through the practice test and those prep, prep exam uh, courses. And then I would say, at, you know, at least 40% of the test, I just, wasn't I had no idea that it was going to be on the test I was pretty uh, surprised which kind of led to that oh, that horrible feeling in the beginning of just not knowing what was going to happen so uh, I I would recommend coming from that still take the practice test still go through that course also um, for both both exams actually uh, but especially the CHFM if you haven't had the opportunity to go through some construction projects in healthcare that's going to be a huge benefit coming into this exam. Knowing um, just all the parts and pieces, putting together you know, scope development, contract development, the delivery process, who's responsible for what, all of that's super important uh, for this exam. And just you know, in general, uh, just having that experience. Also understanding within the hospital operations, who's responsible for what. So which departments do which things. Also very, very good, very beneficial. And then uh, what kind of caught me off guard was some of the really detailed electrical system questions. And I had prepared um, and I feel pretty, pretty good about electrical. I am not an electrical engineer. Um, and I took a couple classes in college and, and had some project experience and then studied, but uh, there were some very specific questions that I had not planned for. So I would probably go back and look through NFPA 99, the uh, electrical systems content, those chapters, uh, 
chapter, what is it? It's six, right? In an FBA 99. And then also there's um, a handbook that ASHI has put out published on electrical systems. That would be, I think, worth um, reviewing. So uh, unless you're an electrical engineer and then you've got this in spades. So um, didn't see too much on HVAC as I had hoped, <laughs> as I had hoped. A little bit on you know ventilation and, and, the, and pressurization, but not as much as I anticipated. Um, lots of math, it's not hard math. There wasn't any annuity calculations, no present value, future value. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward math, but several steps, uh, which kind of threw me off guard, um, but still very achievable. Um, yeah, I think that that kind of covers what I remember in the afterglow. <laughs> it's definitely operations and maintenance, project experience, construction experience, all of that is going to help you pass these exams. So um, yeah, if you've taken either exam or you're preparing, I'd love to know your thoughts. And uh, just right now, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. God is good. I have a lot of um, people in my life who have really helped me get here, a great support system. So right now I'm just just basking and just appreciation. So, uh, but if, if you're going through a similar experience you have um, and you think there's other tips that would help someone else, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I appreciate that. I know anyone that's watching and preparing would appreciate that too. Thanks y'all.